Hi everyone, today we are going to see how an open terrarium and a closed terrarium differs. From the name itself, everyone knows a closed terrarium will be completely closed throughout the entirety of its life. Likewise, an open terrarium will have an opening to ensure good airflow. But what is the real difference between these two terrariums, which is uh, more than what meets the eye? Let's check out. So let's start with the closed terrarium first. A closed terrarium is also called a self-sustaining ecosystem. Just because these terrariums can live on its own for a longer period of time without any human intervention. You have to know that one of the oldest terrariums is having an age of more than 50 years. Okay, coming back to the topic, we all know how the rain happens on our earth. So like our own earth, once a terrarium is completely closed, after all the requirements are provided during its creation, the water that we have provided inside the terrarium will evaporate and condenses on the glass walls and again evaporates, thereby forming a rain cycle inside the terrarium. This cycle ensures the plants inside the terrarium will be receiving enough water every day for its growth. Now you people will be thinking, well water alone won't help, right? Plants also require carbon dioxide for photosynthesis, huh? How are they going to get that inside a closed terrarium? Well, that's very simple. As we all have studied during our school days that plants do photosynthesis by taking in carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. That is during their time, while they inhale oxygen and produce carbon dioxide during the night time. Applying this inside a terrarium, the oxygen produced during photosynthesis by plants are used during its respiration at night, which in turn produce oxygen again, which will be taken by the plants for photosynthesis the very next day and this cycle will ensure enough carbon dioxide and oxygen will be inside the terrarium during all the times. Hope everyone have got that. If not, you can just go back and again hear it. This is the basic principle on how a closed terrarium works. But to create a closed terrarium, just knowing and applying these theories won't alone help. It is very much important to know the right kind of plants that you are placing inside the terrarium. All kinds of plants won't grow well inside a closed terrarium. The atmosphere inside a closed terrarium will be very much humid. So it is of utmost important to select the plants that can survive such an environment. Once you have placed the right plants inside, the next challenge will be to provide the right amount of water inside the terrarium. Adding too much of water inside a closed terrarium will be fatal to the plants, while providing not enough water will also give the same result. So finding the right balance of water inside the terrarium will ensure the survival of the terrarium for a longer period. After hearing all the nuances and the intricacies of a closed terrarium, you would be wondering whether an open terrarium is also as complicated as a closed one. In reality, an open terrarium is as simple as planting a house plant inside a pot. For open terrarium, the only thing you should be careful about is the selection of the plants. Contrary to a closed one, Plants selected for an open terrarium should be the ones that can thrive in dry and very less humid conditions. Selecting plants like succulents will help to reduce the watering frequencies in these terrariums. Which means these terrariums are not self-sustaining like the closed ones since it requires to have human interventions periodically for its survival. After hearing all this, I hope you have understood the difference and the working mechanism of both the kind of terrariums. If you would like to know more about the topic in depth, kindly subscribe to the channel and leave a comment before leaving. Thank you for watching.